live by faith. And the thing that you know need to know when you live by faith, it's unpopular. It's unpopular. To live by faith is uncomfortable. To live by faith, it's going to it's going to be a challenge. It's a challenge to your natural mind. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. And um, and see, because the thing about it, faith and fear cannot abide in the same or occupy the same space. Faith and fear cannot. Faith and fear cannot. Because faith represents God and fear represents the enemy. He represents doubt. Can't exist. Both can't exist. The scripture said that sweet and bitter flow, uh, sweet and uh, bitter water cannot flow from the same fountain. And if you call yourself a believer, if you call yourself someone who trusts God, who trusts God, but you're living in fear, you're trying, you're trying to, you're trying to predict your next step. You're trying to predict your next step. That's not faith. That's doubt. That's fear. And see, the fear is controlling your future. That's the fear. The fear is will try to make you control the future. To make you, make, to get you to a place where you can see it before it happened. But God fixed it so that you can't. Fixed it so that you can't. And this is why, this is why uh, many are uncomfortable that, that profess that they know God. You say that you know God and so what's happening, the enemy is attacking your knowledge about him. Your knowledge of him. And what's happening right now, like I said, this is a season of manifestation also. What's happening right now is what inside of a person, a believer, whoever it is, is coming out. What's inside of you in troubled times and in times in your times of tests and in your times of dilemma, what comes out of your mouth, how you act, how you react is what's in you. And so what God is doing, God is allowing many of us to see what's in us, whether it be good or bad, whether it be faith or fear. See, because to have to have fear, to have fear, you can't please God. Without faith, you can't please God. Without faith, you can't have a conversation with God. You cannot. As long as you live in fear, you're going to walk in fear. You're going to walk in the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. And that fear comes from, the fear comes, that there's a thing that brings fear, that causes fear to grow. And there's a thing that causes faith to grow. Now what causes faith to grow is hearing. The scripture says, Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so now if faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God, fear coming by hearing and hearing the total opposite of God. See, because the word of God is positive. But anything opposite and opposed to the word of God is negative. So which means that your lifestyle, many of you, your lifestyle is bringing on your fear. What you're listening to, the music that you listen to, the places that you go, the thing that you go, it's creating, just like I mentioned, about there are certain nightmares or certain things that come up in your mind. It's in your mind. A lot of it, you create it. You create it. You create it. The scripture says that our, our greatest enemies of our own household. Our enemy is our enemy. It's in you. It's in your mind. Even Paul said, I find in my members a new law. That law is warned against my mind. That that I would not would do, I do not. That that I do not would not do, that I do. Who shall deliver me from this? God. And so he's going to serve God in the spirit, in his mind. And so this is why you have to protect your mind. Protect your ears. Protect what you listen to. Even you have to protect your mind from your mind. You got to protect your mind from your thoughts. You got to protect your, your mind from what you hear, what you hear around you that is contrary to faith, to contrary to what God has said. Because the scripture says, let every man, every man, woman, boy, and girl be a liar. Let every man, every woman, every boy be a liar. But let what God says be true. And so this is, this is the crossroads. This is the showdown that many of you are facing. You are facing either faith or fear. Are you going to become fearful? Are you going to look at your circumstances as a giant? 
and you're going to appear yourself as a grasshopper and are you going to feel defeated? Are you going to bring back an evil report? Or, and see those 10 that Moses sent out, they brought that back. They brought back fear. They brought back doubt. But there was two. Joshua and Caleb. Their eyes were different. They came up with, with a report of faith. And they said that we are more than able to overcome. And see, when you have faith in your heart, and see, when the word has been buried and hid in your heart, you will say we're going to overcome. Because the scripture said it overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of, the, and the word of their testimony. And so you're going to be in the book. And so when you have faith, you want to see God. When you have faith, you're going to see the power of God. When you have faith, you're going to see God's authority. When you have God's faith, you're going to see God's glory. When you have faith, you're going to see God's victory. When you have faith, God, you're going to see God's joy. And see, greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. And so it comes with faith. And say, faith is being faithful. Faith is saying, God, I want to trust you. Faith is saying, God, I'm going to believe you. Faith is saying, God, I'm going to hold it, follow you regardless of what's going on. God, regardless of what I'm feeling. God, of what's trying to hit me. Come what way, God, I'm going to trust you. God, I'm going to believe you. God, I'm going to hold it, follow you. God, I'm going to worship you, God. God, because I trust you. God, I got faith in you. God, I'm going to believe in you, God. God, for everyone that's listening to me right now, God, God they, are, they are battling. God, they are battling with doubt. God, they are battling with fear. God, they are battling with all kind of ne negativity. But you said in your word that you have not given us a spirit of fear. God, you didn't give us that fear. So the enemy gave it. The enemy gave it. didn't come from God. And so, but you gave us love, power, and a sound mind. And perfect love cast out all fear. And so, God, we're casting out fear. God, we're casting out doubt. God, we're casting out discouragement. God, we're casting out anger. God, we're casting out violence. God, we're beating back in witchcraft. God, we're coming against every imagination and every thought that will try to exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity until the obedience of Christ. God, arise, God. God, lift up your people, God. God, cause them to see faith. God, cause them to see your power, God. God, I saw them to see your glory, God. God, is my faith. God, we obtain them. Uh, God, they obtain them. An uh, 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 honorable report with, with faith. There came a, a report of victory. It came a report of joy with faith, God. God, we're going to have faith in you. God, we're not going to lean on our understanding. God, because with faith, God, is, 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 we, that's how we please you, God. God, with faith, God, we're going to trust you, God. And so, God, we are not going to die. And God, we are not going to lean our ears to what we hear. That's opposed to what you are saying, God. But God, we're going to follow you. And God, we're going to follow you in everything. God, for everybody that listen to me right now, God, they're at the crossroads. They're at the crossroads, God. They're at the crossroads. They're at the crossroads of what to do. God, they're at the crossroads of what to say. They're at the crossroads, God. God, they're at the crossroads, God. And God, while they're at the crossroads, God, speak to them right now, God. And let them know that they can make it, God. And let them know that your grace is sufficient, God. At this place, God, they're at a crossroads. At this place, God, where they know what to do, God. At this place, God, where they're uncomfortable, God. At this place, God, they don't know what the direction to turn to, God. They know what the rest of the turn is. They need to turn to you. God, you say in your word, God. God, in all our ways, acknowledge you. That means to focus on you first. That means to talk to you first. That means to seek your name first. That means to seek your will first. That means to acknowledge you first. That means to cry out to you first. And God, we're going to do it first. God, we're going to look to you first. God, we're going to reach out to you first. God, we're going to cry out to you first. God, we're going to walk into your, God, we're going to walk into your precepts first. God, we're going to walk into your pavilion first. And so, God, we're going to seek you first and your kingdom, God. And all things will be added, God. God, we are not going to push the cup before the heart. God, we're going to do this thing right. And God, anything that's not like you, God, God, we rebuke it right now. God, God, we rebuke depression. God, we rebuke pain. God, we rebuke hurt time. God, we rebuke rejection. God, we rebuke bitterness. God, we rebuke that untrustworthy spirit. God, we rebuke untrustworthy. God, we rebuke doubt. God, we rebuke molestation. God, we rebuke hurt. God, we rebuke divorces. God, we divorces of pain. The forces of fear, the forces of hate, the forces of racism, the forces of destruction, the forces of division. We, we curse every root. We curse every evil root. We curse every uh, familiar root. God, we curse every wicked root. We curse every nasty root. We curse every every, every uh, manipulative root. We curse every deceptive root. In the mighty name of Jesus, God deliver. God deliver, God deliver, God deliver. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.